Hi, my name is Nabigail Brinkle, and I'm from St. Mary's Kanai Catholic Church. This COVID pandemic has given us lots of setbacks. We are not able to visit our friends and relatives in person, but we do communicate with them through our devices, and this has become an important part of our lives. Have we thought of how these interactions affect us? Some make us happy, some are discouraging, some makes us think more, some are just boring. Some are interesting, some are encouraging, and so on. Communication causes many emotions in us, and these emotions shape our actions. Here, I would like to share how communication affected two frogs and how it affected their actions. Once, a group of frogs was traveling through the woods. Two of them fell into a deep pit, and the other frogs crowded around them. Do you know what they did? They told the frogs that there was no way they could get out of the pit. The two frogs, however, kept on trying to jump out of the pit. The group of frogs saw that it was hard for them to get out and just told them not to waste their energy and just give up. Eventually, one of the frogs got discouraged by what the others were saying and gave up, falling down to his death. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Again, the crowd yelled at him to stop the pit and just die. Surprisingly, he jumped even harder and finally made it out. When he got out, the other frogs asked, Did you not hear us? The frog did not respond as it was deaf. What does this story tell us? The deaf frog perceived the encouragement which helped to get out of the pit. The other frog heard discouragement and gave up quick. Friends, it is important to think how we interact with others. Are we providing them with good thoughts, words of encouragement, caring and happiness? Or are we just making them feel down? Yup. For in communication, we can make a difference in others' lives. Thank you.